What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and as we do every Sunday we are taking a look at the Monday upcoming cards, a bit of a preview. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to go straight in and keep it short and sweet because we do have a lot of players coming. I don't think we're going to see you know a big change coming until the next massive update which is looking like early December. So I will have some news on that for you quite soon so make sure you keep it locked and like and subscribe and be always kind of look, looking out for my videos because uh, we do try to keep you guys up to date with multiple videos a week, right? So we're going to go over here to eFootballDB, but before we do, we're just going to take a quick overview of all the cards, right? Because I'm not going to feature all the cards in the training guides and stuff just to give a quick preview of them. But you've got Showtime cards on the top layer, uh, which is Kubo is going to have momentum dribbling as far as we know based on eFootballDB.com. Uh, Bellingham is going to be a Showtime, Orata is going to be a Showtime, and then we've got Casillas, Puyol and Edmilson as the new booster legends, right? Then you have Guardians, which are going to be the Spanish League Guardians and the Spanish League Attackers, right? So we've see th seen this with the English League Attackers and Guardians as well. Now we've got to flip to the Spanish ones. So if you go back maybe 12 months with eFootball23, you will see that these were kind of released around the same time. So it's kind of the same pattern that they're following, right? But let's go over, we're actually going to go over to the website itself and take a look at some of the cards, right? Um, let me see if I can... Yeah, I should be able to do this. One second, Les, I just need to click off this. Right, okay. If you've already missed, as well as if you've also missed my Anchorman vs. Destroyer video and the weekly roundup, I definitely do think that the Anchorman vs. Destroyer video, uh, if you are struggling with the way the game is at the moment, I definitely think that could be game-changing for you. But anyway, we're going to focus. I'm actually going to hide my webcam here to show you the full stats. We're going to focus on a couple of the builds that we have done here. Now, obviously, take this with a pinch of salt because the levels, as you see on the left-hand side of the screen here, um, are not, you know, updated until Monday when the servers are actually put on and updated again, right? So this is just kind of like a, a kind of a rough guide. So Felix is a very, very good attacking midfielder, double touch, Marseille turn, everything that you could possibly want. Very silky, very smooth, um, very, very decent attacking midfielder. I think he'll be a good choice. If you haven't been playing the game that long and you've missed out on some cards from him, he is a beast of a player. Kind of like him, Pedri, uh, Simmons from, um, from the Dutch League. They're all are from, I think he's playing with Leipzig now, I'm not too sure. But anyway, yeah, all of these players are going to be like really, really, really solid in that attack and midfielder role, right? We also have Williams as a center forward, just a traditional kind of speedster center forward, 96 acceleration, 80 balance, 75 type possession is a little bit bad, but he is quite tall, so he's kind of good in the air as well. We also have a Sevilla's Luca Bacchio. This guy is a very, very fast winger as well. I mean, we had Diaz last week. I think Diaz kind of shades it. Um, but this guy is quite decent as well if you have not got like a really pacey winger or if you haven't been playing the game too long and you get lucky enough, right? We then have Bellingham, of course, who is down here with 32 levels. If he has 32 levels, lads, I think he'll be extraordinary because you're going to have 80 speed and acceleration. You're going to have 85 stamina. You're going to have all of these attacking stats into the 80s, high 80s at that for most of them, and then 90 finishing. So he is down as a whole player. He's going to have double touch, flip flap. He's going to have all the player skills that you could possibly want. It doesn't look like he's going to be getting the showtime skill. That seems to have been gone to Kubo, who has momentum dribbling. But let's see. Let's see what happens, right? Kubo, if he has got 31 levels, which I don't think he will have, will have ball control, dribbling, finishing, acceleration, and balance all in the 90s. So it'll be kind of like Romario-esque as a center forward. I don't think he'll have that. Um, Murat is going to be down as kind of like a tall aerial threat kind of center forward but he does have 92 acceleration which is nice to see Morata kind of rewarded now this is only 28 uh, progression points or uh, levels on him so he might have more or less than that right but obviously the big one is going to be Rudiger from the Guardians pack Rudiger is definitely one of my favorite center backs ever in the game um I've actually got him back into my division one squad playing try hard mode and he's been unbelievable and speaking of his partner it is none, or, none other than the original legend Puyol. Now, this new Puyol that's coming looks incredible. If he does have 27 levels or more, which he should have, and the booster, he's practically going to be one of the most overpowered players in the game, right? He's going to, I would say, have a boost with the booster to heading, probably physical contact, and I would also say uh, the tackling and aggression. That's probably where they'll go with him. So you're going to have nearly maxed out defensive stats well into the 90s, speed and acceleration around 80. And if he does have more levels than 27, he is going to be really, really, really solid, right? Moving back to the Guardians pack, we also have a top pick in Akuna, Akuna Matata, as I call him, a beast up the flank. If you have not used a cross and left back yet, and you're looking to score a lot of goals from headers, like you have collar up front or somebody, 
he's going to be solid but not spectacular and the same with blind i mean look at those defensive stats defensive awareness defensive engagement really really solid but again not going to be something to really shout home about definitely not the strongest blind card that they have ever released moving back to the legends we've got casillas now i have puyol and casillas as the original legend cards that they released um so these aren't really going to be massively exciting for me but if you did miss out on casillas uh before it looks like he's going to be back here um time will tell whether he actually is the player that comes out um but let's see it looks like puya will be there as well and then of course we have ed Mielsen as well so ed Mielsen is down as a dmf here I don't, I don't know about this guy, lads. He's down as an anchorman, obviously. Um, he is a fairly decent player, but based on the stats here, I just feel like now the best thing to do is to sit and wait and see what your coins will be able to get you with the next big update. Because bear in mind as well, and I am going to be doing a video on it, the contract situation is going to have to be resolved. And also, in a couple of days' time, lads, we are going to have to pay to retrain our players. The GP free reset is going to be gone. So I'm going to do two videos on that to bring you guys up to speed. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me, lads. I will be back later on today hopefully with another video um and if not we'll be back live stream on monday we've gone through all these players don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and uh hope to see you in the next video so that is it lads i will see you in a bit and uh yeah that's all the players there that you see so i will talk to you later lads don't forget to subscribe peace